Assalamu alaikum. Now I quickly want to share a very beautifully done up uh, boutique suit. It's a custom made suit and it's very 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 intricate and very detailed. The price is actually reflective of what this garment is. Okay, It's a ready made suit that's coming for stitching. It was purchased from a shop in Birmingham and um, Basically what we have is a straight kameez, a shortish, a sort of like a three-quarter length kameez. Uh, sadly, the girl who I am altering this for is a very pretty size. She's got a waist of something like 23 inches and uh, this is a lot larger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of these uh, things off and I'm going to be putting darts in. Okay, I am going to pre-mark it and put the darts in. And now the kind of work that's been done on this is uh, all the way, it's net sleeves and it's done all the way. Mm, the sleeves are a little bit wide too. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, try and try and somehow tighten the sleeves up as well. This is one of the sad things with these suits that if they are... Uh, a size larger than you have especially when the border has been done all the way always bear this in mind when you purchase something like this that if it's a large size then how are you going to alter this the embroidery is done on the front and back is very 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 detailed and i'm gonna have to somehow take some of these beads off and then try and dart this so that uh, you know it can take it in from the waist as much as we can now one of the things that you're sort of like afraid of when you do that is you may take it in quite a bit on the waist but then it'll bring it out on the hips so you have to try and sort of uh, uh, keep it proportional and now there's no way that we can take this in anymore on the sides i previously had one which had a slight margin in the seams around here which i did take it in but unfortunately that's a problem uh, that we can't fix with this dress uh, the sleeves um, again when you stitch something like this you do have to be extra extra careful because of the heavy beadwork and you know what you're gonna break needles you're gonna break not only needles but you sometimes end up piercing holes through this because when the presser foot presses on the two and you know you're trying to make it go through the feed then the feed presses on the foot and when it presses on the two together the beads just end up knocking holes in. so very carefully we're going to try and fix this i just quickly wanted to share with you now i am going to be shortening the length of the trouser too uh unfortunately with these trousers, again, uh, you know, they are generally worn a little bit shorter. And uh, with this, it's a little bit too long. And uh, I have to bring the crutch down quite a bit. She wants it left approximately. This is like, this has been zipped and stuff. So it's very fine and very detailed what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take uh really cut away the elastic to start off with and uh, sometimes it's uh, tackling suits like this which is even a bigger task than actually doing the alteration itself because it's such an expensive uh, thing you're sort of afraid to commit to actually cutting it because, um, you know, it requires a little bit of courage. Anyway, the intention should be there to correct it. And if the intention to correct is sound, then hopefully, inshallah, we won't make a mistake. So I've taken the belt uh, portion off now and uh, what we're going to do is next, I mean like if it's a marginal takeoff then what you would do is you would undo the elastic, press it and uh, do it gradually. Now this required a fair bit of taking off so rather than uh, 
Secondly, you've got the problem that it's all been overlocked as well. I'm going to take away, since this is going to require cutting anyway, I'm going to take away the overlocking seam. So if the overlocking seam is away, then you've got more chances of being able to tear open the seam. Always be careful and take a small pull at a time. Okay, now what we're going to do is it's really the inside leg seam that needs to come. So <coughs> I'm going to unpick this seam because I need to bring uh, this, I need to widen it up slightly on the crutch. And the only way I'm going to do that is by adding a little bit of a piece to the inner of this. going to add it to just a little bit of a piece to the back of this and I'm going to bring the crutch length down because the inside leg needs to come down quite a bit. I'm going to join on the back of this, I'm going to join just a little bit of a piece so that extends the crutch level just a little bit. And for that I'm just going to unpick the belt so that we can...
try and dig into this. <laughs> So once I've done this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just press the seams out of this, cut enough so that I can add a little bit of a piece to, I just want to use the same elastic. Okay. So we're going to just <laughs> iron all this out. I want two pieces just to add to the extension of this and then the elastic uh, I'm going to do this elastic sort of um, just at the back only so I don't need it as much I'm going to leave this one and just use a smaller portion of the elastic let the iron warm up a little bit get to work hopefully So let's work on the stones now and see what leaves we can take off and how best we can work around this. Now it's a bit sad, you know, when you take off beads like this because uh, sometimes it ends up. Like a uh, effect of that is such that uh, let's see how they've been put on if they're not done on sometimes these beads are done on a If you pull one out, the whole lot will fall out. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and stitch over these because I'm afraid if I take these out they'll have like a really effect of where the whole lot will start coming off. So I'm gonna try and do it without the Measure. That's the line that we want. So we'll take a couple of these off carefully. No choice but to take these off. Now the price for this suit is close to two hundred pounds. I don't know whether I would be brave enough to spend that much on a suit. What the heck, it's only a suit. Is it worth that much? Do comment if you think you would spend £200 on a suit like this. Personally, I'd like to buy one of those designer replicas, which I'm going to be about to show you. Some Maria B beautiful designer replicas. And really get the wear out of them. It was actually on either occasion that um, I had some of my family members wearing originals and uh, to me, do you know what, whether it's an original or whether it's a replica, as long as the sewing is good. If you're going to go around telling everyone, right, it's an original, it's not a replica, it's an original. I think that's a bit embarrassing. A real thing should shine out without you having to say a word. And there's me, I go up to people. This isn't a real, this is a fake. But look how well it's sewn. Alhamdulillah. I only paid this much for it. And it does the same job of covering me. It's me trying to make a chit chat by the way. The designers do a brilliant job and the Indians do a brilliant job of replicating them. And making them available to us that we can buy 
four suits for the price of one. That's the way to go. But then there are there is quality over quantity, so what can I say? I'm contradicting myself here. Okay, that's that off. Try and take it the other way. I think that one doesn't need it. I don't think that one needs it either. Okay. We shall go and tackle this now and see how far we get. I shall see you with the end result, hopefully.